Hello everyone, hope you guys are doing amazing today. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can get your splits in 28 days. So if this is one of your new year resolutions, if you want to get your splits, this video is for you. So keep watching. This month, we are having our first flexibility challenge specifically for splits. So if you are interested in joining, the link is down below. Also, since all these challenges are free and everything is for free, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. And guys, that really helps my channel. So that's why we really always ask you guys to do that because it does help us so much. And it's literally the reason why we can keep providing you with so much valuable content. So don't forget to do that. Don't forget to hit the like button and to just support the channel. One important thing that I want to say is that every single month we are selecting one of you guys to be the winner of our challenges. So we're sending a mystery box with active wear, booty bands, makeup products, and other surprises to the winner every single month of you guys who is very committed, is very persistent, show us your progress, uses the calendar on Instagram, all these things matter, and also shares with us their before and after, all these things matter to us, and we wanna thank you guys for those of you who put in the effort to show your results and to motivate other people so they can also join the challenge and they can also change their body and transform their mind. So it's important for us to give you guys a thank you in that way, so, if you share with us, you tag us, don't forget to use the hashtag Daniela Suarez Challenge, and that is how you might win one of our mystery boxes. They are so excited, and we are announcing the winner of the first month's challenge very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. I'm gonna give you guys a few tips to get to your splits, and these are very key tips that are gonna help you during this challenge. And I'm also gonna talk about the other two challenges that we have during the month of February. So these are gonna be launched on February 1st. You can do them at any time of the year. All right, so let's get started. The first thing that you need to know about getting your splits is that you need to go gradually and you need to listen to your body and where it's at at the moment, which is why we're using during the challenge blocks and other props that can help you depending on which level you're at at the moment. So it's important that you use those blocks or books. In the videos, I have books because I know that not everyone has yoga blocks and you don't have to get anything for this challenge if you have books or something to help you. If it's hurting during the poses and if it doesn't feel comfortable, that is a good sign. That means that you are really working on that area and making it more flexible. This takes a bit of time and it depends also on your body, your flexibility. It depends on a lot of things and where you're at. So everyone is gonna have different results and that is just the way it is. Focus on yourself, focus on your progress. As long as you feel like that challenge, then it means that you're growing and it means you're getting one step closer to your split, so it's a good sign. Tip number two is to be super kind to yourself and to remember that everything is a process, everything takes time, and by being frustrated and not being accepting of where you are at the moment, it's not going to help the situation. So it's important to be kind, to be patient with your body, and to just be relaxed in a state of relaxation, almost meditative state to be able to get your splits because you need to let go and you need to just be in the zone in order to, for you to stay in that pose for the 40 seconds that we're doing. Just be nice to yourself, talk to yourself and remember that everything is a process. This area, the lower body area, holds a lot of emotions and it holds a lot of things that might come up when you're doing these stretches. The things that might come up to your mind, thoughts and other things related to maybe your childhood or maybe past experiences. And it's a really good thing that these stretches are releasing those areas and those thoughts and that's why I recommend you guys to have a journal not only to write about your progress and how you're doing but also to write about what emotions you experienced when you were doing these stretching exercises 
what thoughts were coming to your mind, what are some things you're re ready to let go of. So I think this is not just a challenge for your body, but also a challenge for your mind to go through these thoughts and also for you to just let them go, just observe them and just, just acknowledge that they are there and, and that's it, that can help you a lot to feel better if maybe you didn't know that that specific thought was making you feel a certain way and now that it's out it's just making you feel so much better so I recommend that you guys have your journal before and after and set an intention before your practice and after the practice you can write down what came up what thoughts came up or what feelings came up it's very important to do that so this specific stretching challenge is going to help you understand yourself better and build an even deeper connection with yourself. So it's not just a flexibility challenge, it's also a mind challenge and also a personal challenge. So it means a lot to us and I really hope that you have a beautiful experience with this challenge. Keep going, keep practicing, do this consistently morning and night, 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night. I promise that it's gonna get so much better and that you just need to be patient with yourself, be loving and try your best. There are four videos, so every week during the 28 days, we're gonna be launching one of the new videos and you're gonna be doing that video for almost every day for the seven days with another of my split videos. So what you can do is to do one or the two videos, it's up to you, but just remember that the more that you practice and the more consistent you are, the more results you're gonna get. So you can choose to do only one of the videos or do both of them, but just remember that if you do both, you're gonna get more results. And what you can also do is to split them between the morning and at night. So you can do your splits video in the morning, one, and then you can do the other one at night. So 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night. Some of them are shorter, some of them are seven minutes, some of them are, 15 minutes some of them are 10 minutes so it's up to you to decide how much time you want to invest in this split challenge so the first few videos they are a bit more gentle and then towards the end we get a little bit more challenging so the exercise is a little bit harder of course it's a challenge so i want you guys to have that difficulty there so that you can push yourself to get your splits for real and if by the end of the 28 days you don't have your splits yet then you can restart the challenge until you get your splits and this is very important because everyone starts at a different level when it comes to the splits and flexibility so if you're almost there at your splits you're probably going to get your splits but if you are really far and you've never done this before you might not get your splits but you might get very close by the end of the 28 days so i recommend that you guys do it again just because you're almost there so keep pushing a little bit harder and you're gonna get it it's all about consistency We're focusing on different muscle groups per video. So some videos are gonna be more focusing on the hips, some videos are gonna be more focusing on, on the hamstrings or quads or glute flexibility, leg flexibility in general, because all of these together is what gives you the flexibility to do your splits. So we're splitting it between muscle groups and this is why we created different videos to focus on the on different areas. You might want to focus on specific videos because that's the area that you struggle the most with so if you want to change it up and do different videos the ones that really challenge you then that's up to you and you can totally do that these videos and this challenge is designed for every single level from beginner to advanced it really depends on where you're at. You can use the blocks if you're a beginner. If you're advanced, you don't need the blocks or don't need any of the props or the booty band. If you are a beginner, you most likely need the blocks or books and also a resistance band. So one of my booty bands, you can also check out the link down below to get one of my booty bands. And in terms of the workout plans, because I know that some of you might be like, what are we gonna do for workouts? And I understand. 
so that's why we created two more challenges all of the challenges are the Daniela Suarez challenge it just depends on which one you are picking and for this month for February we're having two 28 day challenges so one is going to be for beginners and one is going to be for advanced or intermediate and you can mix and match it's going to be a toning and strengthening challenge. So compared to the 21 day challenge, which is more based on cardio, weight loss, intense stuff, this one is more focused on using weights, also just building strength in your body and also toning. And don't think that I'm gonna just forget about the cardio. There's also cardio. There's just not as much as 21 day challenge, but there's more of a balance of every type of workout in this challenge. So like I said before, you can do the workout plan with the stretching challenge together and it's amazing. That's what I'm gonna do personally. I'm gonna be doing the workout plan with the stretching challenge because I do wanna get better at my splits. You guys are gonna see that I do have my splits and I, when I was young, I was super flexible and I had my middle split was my most flexible split. So I still have the middle split, but my splits for each side, they're still a little bit tight and my hips are not quite aligned which is usually how you are supposed to have your splits but i wanted to show you guys that even me i don't have my splits yet because when you stop practicing you lose your splits and i know that you're gonna get your splits if you are very dedicated if you're consistent and if you keep going all right so keep me posted in the comments below who is gonna do the challenge please let me know what are you most excited for i'm gonna be using my instagram calendar so Definitely post on your stories the Instagram calendar, which is right here on my website. And so we can see your progress and also keep each other accountable. That thing really made me accountable for the 21 day challenge. Made me so accountable that I felt like, oh my God, I really need to post that I got it done because otherwise I feel like I didn't get it done. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let me know if you're joining this challenge and also any suggestions, questions, anything like that. We are always reading the comment. Please let us know. I will see you in the next one. Bye.